all right uh what's up world um i go by the name of pew uh, also known as uh drum king full name is pew fernando paulus being a drummer i grew up listening to mostly uh these are uh, congolese and northern african senegalese ghanaian uh, musicians back then so i started playing most of those grooves but then as time went by we got exposed to americans as you all know and they are now the leading generation in terms of music right now so a lot of people say don't forget your roots but yet again you should add to what you know already because you have to be unique you have to be transparent you have to be type of a blender you have to blend in with whatever the world provides to you and this is what exactly we're going to do today we're going to show you guys like how we interpreted african style with what we've learned from the americans and uh just to stay on that recently i've been to 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 london and i've you you might know the band snacky puppy yeah we were we were talking in jam like yeah just talking before i went on stage when i went on stage i played for elemoto is namibian he plays mostly african stuff and then through that i started playing these african beats like uh six eight and stuff like that as i was playing the six eight i was adding american type of feels and so to the americans they were kind of happy that i could blend the two because when it comes to africans we are all about the groove because if i play an african beat right now it's just strictly groove but then what i did what i've learned from the americans i've applied some of their feels and then i've added them to 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 the african stuff and so it was kind of good for them and and this is exactly what I, we are going to teach uh, uh, as well like um i couldn't play kwasa kwasa that good as well until i met the Danny, Danny, Mr. Danny over there. Yeah, he showed me a few bits. And through that, in, I decided I'm also going to add my own flavors of Kwasa Kwasa to it. And yeah, and uh, le wait, let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. Like, I used to play Kwasa Kwasa like this. And then uh, Danny came in, he gave me a few others. You know, just like jazz, changing into different patterns while you're playing in the groove. This is what I've learned from him as well. Just like jazz, it's the same pattern, but it changes into different timings. Some it goes syncopated, but it still comes back. Like playing before one and or before two even or in the middle of the two yeah and so this is what uh, i've learned from him yeah this was simple and beautiful but then i tried to add a little stuff as well so this is this is what they play and then uh, uh I thought, man, man, let me just add a few things to make this beautiful as well, you know. And so I applied some of the American stuff to this. Like, for example, like instead of giving a straight feel, like on pattern, like on that simple one, two, three, four pattern, I decided to go syncopation off and uh, and uh, how can I say, yeah, off beat, off, off beat type of feels that I've applied to 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 that straight pattern for example like <laughs> seen my count was a regular four but then my, my my field started off beat you know what i'm saying those are the type of things that i've added like let me let me try and, ex and explain it to you in terms of counting Usually, uh, what normal drummers would do, they would go like. Yeah. 
straight and I wanted to beat something challenging so I started especially on the E like one E and a two E and a three E and a four E one E and a, on the E